So I want to talk to you a little bit uh, today about painting your masterpiece. It's something that comes up over and over again in my private workshops uh, that I teach here in Austin. And uh, so I thought I'd just, uh, you know, put this, this little talk on film so you guys could, could hear it. But what it is, is a lot of my students, um, they don't really ever set out to paint their masterpiece. They, they are either always working on a, on a student you know, something that a study that they're doing or something they're doing in a class or something they're doing to learn from or, or, or they look at it as a stepping stone to painting your masterpiece. But it's not until you really set yourself up and try your very best to, to do the very best painting you can possibly do and make it your next painting. In fact, make it every painting that you ever paint. It doesn't mean that everyone's going to be some epic mural, you know, masterpiece that you're going to um, that's going to represent you as an artist forever. Um, but what it does mean is that within the, um, you know, it, within the parameters that you're working with, in other words, if you're doing a portrait, you know, when I used to do portraits, I always had to work uh, with the subject that, that, you know, that I was commissioned to paint. But within, within that, I would try to do the very best I could possibly do and always try to make every painting uh, maybe be the best one I've ever painted. It doesn't mean that I'm going to succeed. Of course, I'm not going to succeed every time. But the point is, is that it's only through really pushing yourself that you really learn and you really discover um, where your weaknesses are and how to overcome them and everything else. So uh, this painting here that I painted of this little girl, I, I don't know if it's my masterpiece and the best thing I've ever done, um, but, I've, but I've always liked this painting. Uh, and I think it turned out pretty well. It was um, a little girl, and I wasn't intending to, to paint my masterpiece when I, when I met this little girl. But she just turned out to be one of the, the best subjects, just the way she, she could look and um, you know, look off into the distance and um, you know, something that just happened. And, um, but it was because I was open to it, because I was trying my very best, because I was really uh, trying to paint the best portrait I'd ever painted. And so it's, um, you know, in, in a lot of ways, it, it is harder. It, it does sort of, you know, put a lot of pressure on you. But really, that's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And to me, it's a lot more fun to be working on something that I think might be great uh, than to sort of say, well, you know, if I do this one, you know, maybe I'll learn something. And then one day, maybe I'll be good enough to paint my masterpiece. But it's only in really, really trying your best that you really learn to paint better. Uh, this uh, next painting here is one that I uh, um, did uh, years ago, and it was a uh, landscape that I painted out of my imagination, and it's another one of my own favorites of my own work. Um, and this one was uh, painted by pure chance. I just uh, had a canvas sitting in the corner and decided to paint a, a landscape um, one day when I was burnt out on portraits or whatever for whatever reason. And I think I spent a couple days on it, and it really turned out. And I've painted so many landscapes that have been total failures that I, that I didn't like at all. But I've always trying my best. And every once in a while, um, you know, one, one turns out. And uh, so that's just um, a little speech that I wanted to give you guys on painting your masterpiece. And uh, it doesn't mean that you have to every time. But I just think it's really um, something that will really help you improve as an artist if you're always really trying to do the very best that you can.